Hello everyone, I decided to make a quick video to show how you can macro in Anime Vanguards. To do this, we're going to use a software called TinyTask. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to tinytask.net. There will be a link in the description as well. You're going to download this. So once we're here, we're going to click the download button. We're going to go to 1.77.exe and press download. We're going to open this up. And this little window will pop out. Once you download TinyTask, you also want to go into Preferences and Continuous Playback and make sure that this is set to true. Perfect. This will make sure that once it plays for a loop once, it will keep playing it over and over again. You're going to head into Roblox. You're going to beat the stage. In this case, we are doing stage double dungeon. This is so we can farm for Ignis. And what you're going to do is now, you're going to beat the level once. Get here, you can click this little button to toggle the victory screen. And then you're going to want to line up. I like to line up with the toes here. It doesn't matter too much about lining this up. It's just to make sure that you can see all the statues. And you'll see why this matters in a second. So once you've done this, you're going to head into Tiny Task and you're going to click the record button. So now it's recording. What TinyTask does is it's going to copy all our actions. So now we're going to hit the replay button. I like to click it a few times. So just click the same spot a few times just to make sure that it taps you in and everything works. Then TinyTask, all it does is it records your actions. So now we're going to place out our speed wagons now in the start. We're just going to play through the level as normal. So we're just going to place out our speed wagons. And one general rule is when you're placing units, try not to place them close to anything that can block them. Because if you do, then uh, there's a chance that if the screen shakes a little bit or anything like that, it'll get adjusted. I should also mention at this point, it's very good when you're doing this if you disable camera shake. Make sure that you've disabled camera shake because camera shake will adjust your screen over and over, um, which will misalign things and make it so the macro breaks after a bit. So now we're going to place down our units to start killing these units. Make sure to keep upgrading our speed wagons. We want a bit of extra money. Another tip is whenever you're upgrading, you can hit the upgrade button, T in my case, a few extra times just to make sure that they actually do get upgraded. Because sometimes you won't have exactly the same amount of money, depending on units spawn, etc. So it's always good to upgrade everything a little bit extra. While you're recording your macro, it's super important that you don't move your camera. Okay, so once you have all your speed wagons upgraded, um, you can upgrade one of your killing units a bit just to make sure. And then you want to wait up until you have a little bit of cash. And then you're going to start placing the units to clear all these statues when they spawn. This is like the hardest part, so it makes this map a little bit harder to macro than other maps. I'm going to use Chayan for this. I think uh, it's a great unit because it, we need a unit that can reach between two of these statues. Now we're going to place it a little bit away. Once again, if we place it too close to the edge, you can see how it turns red. If our camera moves for whatever reason, we don't want that to occur where it turns red. So we're going to place it a little bit away from the wall right there. So it still reaches these two statues. And then we're just going to place a Vegeta as well. Right there. So now this section is covered. So we're going to do that for every section. So just place a unit that has long range between two statues. And then unit here. It doesn't matter what units you use for this as long as they have enough range to cover. These ones in the corner can get a bit tricky, but just know that as long as you're aligning the edge of it with one of them, it should reach the other one. Just make sure that all the units are covering all the statues. So you can see now that all the statues are getting killed on spawn. Exactly what we want. And there's one last final step. And now when we get to the screen, we're going to start clicking. And we're going to click, 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 and we're going to keep clicking. And then we're going to keep clicking a few more times. And we do this to make sure that when we uh, get here, let's say the boss died a little bit slower than normal, we'll be fine. And then we're just going to hit the recording button again. And now you'll see if we click play, it's going to repeat all the actions. So I was a little slow here in the start. 
Uh, but yeah, you see how it double clicked there, that's important. Um, so we always get the button to get clicked, even if we're tabbed out when we start it. And you can see the game will start playing itself. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's how you macro. Uh, if you have any other questions about the game, any tips, tricks, how you would like to know more about, uh, yeah, I've been enjoying Anime Vanguards a lot. We'll see if we can get some streams going in the future, maybe. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment of what type of videos you want me to make next about this game. And I'll see you in the next video.